Hello and welcome to this short video on the mirror part command. So let's go ahead and go into SOLIDWORKS. Now the main reason you'd use the mirror part command is to create a mirror image of a part and then insert it into a new part file. So to do that first thing you need to do is to select a face or a plane to mirror from. So let's say this face here and then I'm going to go to the insert menu and then go mirror part. Now you have to make sure you select a face first if you don't have anything selected it's greyed out. So let me just go back select a face go insert mirror part. It will then open a new part for me and it's going to add in a number of options depending on what I tick here so I'm going to put solid bodies on, I'm going to leave that on the planes and model dimensions. I also have an option here to break link to the original part. So when it adds in this model, this mirrored model, into this part file, if I click this break link to original part, it's going to be independent. In this case I don't want to, uh, to break the link, I'm going to leave it linked to the original. So I'm going to go OK. There we go, so there's my mirrored part. There we go. So it looks good. Notice that all it brings in is a part symbol and then the bracket underscore mirrored because my original part is called bracket. And then it's just brought in the solid bodies and the planes. So this is actually just a dumb solid which is driven from my other, my other part. So if I come back into this, into this part, and let's say this change of dimension, say 150 there, let's just rebuild it, there we go and I go back into my my mirrored part you'll notice that that has automatically updated because it's linked to the original now if I tick that box that said break link to original it would have stayed as it was so let's have a look at something else now so here's a weldment body I've got and I'm just gonna create an opposite hand version for it um, in a new part. So to do that I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to select a face here and then go insert and then mirror part. I'm going to select solid bodies, planes and dimensions again. No, but the link, uh, break link to original part has been removed. This is because it's a weldment part. It's got weldment features in it. You cannot break the link. So if I go OK, it will be linked to the original like so. There it is. So I'll show you another way now. You can create a mirrored part, a new mirrored part, um, without using that command. So let's just close that now. I'm not going to save that. So in this instance, I'm just going to go File and then Save As. And then I'm going to save this as, say, Welderman Mirror. And I'm going to save it as a copy. So I've saved it. It's an independent um, part, not related to this one in any way. Let's just go and open it. There we go. So I'm in Weldment Mirror now. So cr to create a completely independent part in this, so to create a opposite hand version with no reference to the original part, so instead of using the Mirror Part option here, what I'm going to do is just use the standard mirror command and I'm just going to mirror say from here and then bodies to mirror I'm just going to go and select all the bodies in this weldment like so, so there's a number there options I'm not going to merge the solids I'm going to keep them separate I'll show you why it's important in a second so we'll go OK that's my opposite hand added in now at this point I want to remove the original weldments from this part file. To do that I can go to the insert menu and then go features, delete body at this point I can select bodies to delete there we go, that's all the bodies I wanted to delete selected go OK and now they've been removed Now. They've been per permanently removed at this stage in the tree. If I roll back, they are still there. Um, 
but after that feature they've been removed completely from the part this this is important especially if you're trying to weigh the um rather than hiding it if you do mass properties once you've hidden it it will still add in those bodies also the cut list um if you hide it will be twice as have twice as much in it because they're still there so by deleting it i'm removing them from the actual part itself and that's how you create a opposite hand version using the mirror and the delete body command okay thanks for watching